As a lot of you guys have probably noticed already, the tech space has been a little bit dry lately in terms of new products. So because of that, there is a massive amount of hype around Apple's upcoming M1X Macs, which are going to be the most significant Mac products from Apple in many, many years due to them getting completely redesigned. However, this whole Apple Silicon transition probably couldn't have happened at a worse time because the world is currently going through a massive chip shortage which is impacting countless amounts of companies and in this video i'm going to go through how this chip shortage has already impacted apple and how it's going to affect the upcoming m1x max as well the first thing i want to talk about is how things with apple have been incredibly weird lately specifically with a lot of leaks and rumors many leakers like john prosser were 100 sure that apple would be holding an event on march 23rd where they would release a bunch of new products and kong the most reliable apple leaker out there with an almost perfect track record also gave us the march 23rd date and as we all know the event that was supposed to be today did not happen and John Prosser literally just shaved his eyebrows. But besides that, there are two theories on why this would happen. Number one is that Apple never even planned to have a March event in the first place and they simply put out fake news in an attempt to weed out the internal sources that are distributing these leaks. So instead of a March event, Apple was planning to have an April event all along. But personally, I don't buy it at all. Apple hasn't had an April event in around 11 years, so it just seems weird for Apple to plan it this way from the very beginning. Now the second theory is that Apple did plan to have a March event, but they had to cancel it for some unknown reason, putting it back an entire month. And I think that it's all due to the global chip shortage being much worse than many companies anticipated. But before I get into explaining exactly what's going on with the chip shortage, I want to point out a couple of weird things that Apple has been doing. Last week, Apple stopped production of new iMac Pro models before officially discontinuing it altogether when the existing supplies ran out. And then just yesterday, Apple completely stopped selling the higher end storage models of their 21 and a half inch iMac, which sort of signals that Apple is preparing to replace it with the rumored redesigned 24 inch iMac. So with that, there are a couple of possibilities on why Apple is doing this. The best case scenario is that Apple is literally going to release a new 24 inch redesigned iMac before the end of this month via a press release, just like they did with the iPad Pro last year. And there's a small chance that it could even happen as early as tomorrow. Another scenario is that Apple is lowering the current iMac stock in preparation for an Apple event next month. And the absolute worst case scenario is this. The global silicon chip shortage is so bad that they're delaying everything because there literally isn't enough chips out there for them to handle the demand from a new product release. And this could mean that the iMacs are unfortunately being delayed for months. So before I share my thoughts on which one of these scenarios is most likely to happen, as well as when we should be expecting the M1X MacBook Pros, let me explain this whole global silicon chip shortage thing. Anything in this world with a chip in it, which is basically all tech related hardware, rely on semiconductors. And most of them today are made out of silicon wafers, which are then made into various components that go into every single tech product. And the problem is that the companies that are making those silicon wafers and semiconductors are way behind. And there are a couple of different reasons for that, with the main one being, of course, the pandemic. Various factories around the world producing semiconductor chips had to temporarily close down because of fears of the virus spreading within the factories. This caused them to get further and further behind on all of their chip orders. At the same time, the pandemic caused demand for electronic devices to blow up since everyone in the world had to rely on technology much more than they had to before, with many people also starting to work from home. And on top of that, people were also starting to receive stimulus checks, and what better way to spend it than on new tech-related items? All of this combined caused a massive spike in demand for chips, all while supply got hit 
by some factories getting temporarily closed down, and ever since then, the demand has not cooled down. In fact, demand has increased due to the price of Bitcoin increasing, which in turn caused a huge surge in demand for graphics chips that can mine the Bitcoin. That's why all the new graphics cards from AMD and Nvidia have been selling out instantly, and even old graphics cards are extremely overpriced due to low stock. And car makers have also been experiencing massive chip shortages as well. Ford just announced that they're closing down an entire factory in Ohio because of a lack of chips. And last month, Tesla shut down Model 3 production for two weeks, and Mazda made production cuts as well. Many companies are cutting production, and it looks like this pain is not gonna end for months, potentially through the end of the year. So yeah, a huge surge in demand is causing a massive global chip shortage. And this actually isn't the first time. This also happened back in 2010 due to a massive demand for smartphones, which is when they really started to blow up. And now with all of that said and explained, let's discuss what's been going on with Apple and how this chip shortage is gonna affect the release of the M1X Max. If we take a look at the M1X 14 and 16 inch MacBooks, we already know that Apple has delayed mass production of them from May or June to sometime in the second half of 2021, which begins in July. So we might not see them until sometime this fall. So as we can see, these shortages are already affecting the M1X Max. The only question that remains is what's going on with the redesigned iMac. John Prosser says that the iMac is ready to launch at any time. And we recently saw a leak of an ARM-based iMac with thin Xcode, and Apple even confirmed the existence of this ARM-based machine. And the thing is, those leaks usually only come shortly before an official release. And there's also the fact that Apple discontinued the larger storage 21 and a half inch iMac models, which also usually only happens right before the launch of a new model. And to make it even more interesting, we also got leaks from multiple sources pointing to a redesigned iMac launching in the first quarter of 2021, which ends on the last day of this month. So we could actually be seeing a new iMac getting released before the end of this month via a press release. But on the other hand, wouldn't Apple wanna show off the new iMac since it's getting its first redesign in many, many years? So it's definitely hard to speculate on when we should expect it, but in my opinion, I think there's a very good chance that we'll be seeing it before the end of April. But if that happens, keep in mind that it's very likely that the base model is coming with the same M1 chip that we already currently have in the M1 Max. Now, in terms of the future Apple Silicon Max being impacted by the global chip shortage, I actually think that Apple is in the best possible position out of any company out there, so let me explain why. For most Macs, Apple currently relies on Intel for the CPU chips and AMD for the dedicated graphics chips. So any kind of shortages from those companies will directly impact Apple Macs. For example, early last year, Apple refreshed the 13-inch MacBook Pros, giving the high-end model the brand new 10th gen chips from Intel. But for some reason, the base $1,300 model was stuck with the old 8th gen chips, even though it received some upgrades, like getting the new Magic Keyboard and the Touch Bar. Only later was it revealed that the new 10th gen Intel chips had very low yields, and that's why the base model stuck with the older 8th gen chips. But now that Apple is finally switching to their own Apple Silicon, they'll no longer have to worry about any chip shortages at those other companies, since Apple will also be using their own graphics chips as well. Apple will instead be relying on TSMC, the most advanced chip maker in the world. And since Apple has such a good relationship with them, they've been able to reserve their chip production before everybody else, putting Apple in the best possible position. And on top of that, TSMC is currently working on building a massive new facility in Arizona, so Apple has no worries on that front either. The only thing Apple has to worry about is the supply of different components like RAM, SSDs, and other general chips which seem to be fine for now as far as chip shortages are concerned. But in general, Apple is in an extremely good spot now that they're finally ditching Intel and AMD. 
So the future of Apple Silicon Macs is looking very bright, and hopefully we'll be seeing that new redesigned iMac before the end of next month. So there you guys go. Hopefully you learned something new from this video, and if you did, go ahead and tap the like button and click the circle above to subscribe for more videos like this one. Definitely check out one of those two right there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.